Yep. We are replacing uh, this main breaker here because it is missing the trip bar, as you can see here on the new breaker right here. And the reason we're replacing this is if there is a reason that this breaker trips, which is the main, it shuts the whole panel off here, uh, it can partially trip where one breaker trips like that, only leaving 120 volts feeding the entire house uh, there, which is dangerous. Uh, and not only that, it can uh, burn up your well, which are normally 240 volts. There are 120 volt ones. But this is one of the reasons, and the other reason is it's not safe. Uh, their uh, breakers are made to actually trip uh, in the event of a fault or a reason for tripping. They shut power completely off. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this one right here and uh, make it safe like it should be. And we're going to correct uh, this right here, as y'all can see, where the wires have been cut off. Uh, we can't, we can't, we can't do that. So we need to. Can you clearly see the picture of the wire where it shows uh, the two ends, where this end is properly like it should be, and then that end is actually where the wires are cut off. So we're going to. that like it should be. This is a aluminum wire which requires oxidizer. Find a screwdriver. Got it. Getting that in, or tighten your wires, make sure they're tight, there's no loose connection. Now the breaker can properly trip as it should. So if the breaker's on and there's a fault or a reason for tripping, uh, the breaker can shut off and kill both 120 volts feeding the house. That's it.